Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Butterfly Princess Show. To start the week, my first guest of the week is Kate O'Brien, who is from um, Kate O'Brien Art. Now, um, I came across Kate on LinkedIn and from seeing some of her LinkedIn posts, um, She's quite active on the art scene within the Stockport area. So um so it'd be a, a fascinating conversation today. So hi Kate, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Steph. It's good to be here chatting to you. Um so could you tell us a bit about what Kate O'Brien art is? Yeah, so basically, I just named it after myself, not a very creative name, I know, but basically I'm an artist and it's kind of something that's happened organically. So when I originally started it, it was alongside other jobs and I was an art teacher for a long time and I was doing it just as a hobby, really, like a lot of people doing creative stuff. And over just a few years, it just eventually took off and I had to, um, you know, make a choice between the day job and following the dream which I never thought would happen you know it's just something you think oh, I could never do that for a living but uh, yeah I did um obviously I'd already chosen the name Kate O'Brien Art by that point so there was no going back on that one but I think it pretty much uh does what it says on the tin you know so it's all artwork it's all my own art so it's all paintings that I've done um and I think the reason it's kind of worked well in Stockport is that I focused on Stockport as my sort of muse so most of my pictures are of scenes and buildings and things around Stockport. And I've developed this style, which is quite sort of um, nostalgic and whimsical. So I think it's quite good for sort of, people see things and it brings back memories and it gives them sort of, um, you know, that feeling of reminiscence, I suppose, when they see my pictures. So yeah, it's just kind of, uh, it just took off and here I am, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I've been so like you use stop points as your mean. So do you like um um scenes do you like to depict from stop port? Yeah, so um originally I was just looking at buildings. So uh, you know, I was experimenting with the style and I kind of thought, well, that's a beautiful building, you know, the Victorian Market Hall or whatever. So I'd do that and then scenes and you just, I mean, we're lucky in Stockport, like a lot of sort of these sorts of towns, we've got a lot of real, real rich history, beautiful architecture. And, um, you know, it, I think it's nice to sort of celebrate that really. And I think that we're starting to get a lot more investment in the town as well. So a lot of these sort of buildings that were crumbling down are now getting really, you know, um, looked after as well as sort of some amazing new modern developments coming up. And um, we've got a really good mix of sort of architecture and. It's like anything, I think, you know, I, I sort of grew up around here, so you, you do have that connection to it, no matter where you go. And like a lot of customers, I've met loads of people recently who live in Australia and New Zealand, but they still come back to Stockport to visit their family because they grew up here. And, you know, they always take take a few little coasters home with them with some of my pictures on. And, you know, I think your heart always is in the place that you grew up. So do you... Do any art classes with people, or is it just me and your own work? So I have done. Um, I've mentioned before I was a teacher for a long time, so you know teaching sort of it's second nature to me, and it's really nice to sort of share um, skills and and also to see what other people you know doing similar techniques. People come up with completely different outcomes, so it's nice to see how other people work and you know their sort of creativity but unfortunately it's not something I'm doing at the moment only because I'm just so busy which is great um but there are plans for me to try and um start doing some classes again now so as people ask me all the time and it is a lovely thing to do so I'm hoping maybe we can you know I maybe do some Sunday classes or something like that but at the moment it's kind of a work in progress just so I can find the time really I've got two little kids as well so it's all a juggling you know <laughs> balance so of course as well, so like obviously you're like now it's 
we turned children, I suppose, now it's because it's for school holidays and stuff, so will you be focusing more now on, like, family time for the next six, seven weeks? Yeah, it is, it is tricky. I mean, in some ways, because I obviously work Saturdays, um, it means I do get two days off during the week, so when the market's closed, the stockport market's closed on a a Monday and a Wednesday and Sunday so I'll be able to sort of hopefully do some stuff with the kids then and um, my husband's trying to work from home on days when I'm in the market so it is a, it is a bit of a juggle but you know um, everyone everyone's in a similar boat aren't they it's not something you have to do but um, we are hoping to sort of get away and we've just got a little sort of van that we can camp in so fingers crossed the weather holds up we can do a few, few camping weekends. <laughs> What, what's next in the pipeline for Kate O'Brien Arts? So I, I, I meant, as you asked before, uh, about hopefully doing some more workshops and classes because I think that would be a really nice thing to do. Um, and, yeah, um, maybe actually branching out and doing a few towns that aren't Stockport. So I have got a few uh, a few images of Manchester and, you know, random sort of Angel of the North and things like that. But it'd be quite nice to sort of um, go to some other nearby places and, and have a little wander around and take my camera and, and see see what else I can find outside of Stockport, you know. So, um, I, I, so were, were you always interested in art and photography? Or is it something that you've just sort of becoming interested in recently oh yeah um pretty much as soon as I could walk talk I was painting and drawing and you know I was one of those kids that would just always be sat there like doodling all the time you know filling notebooks up and stuff and um yeah it, it something I've always wanted to do and um uh when I was seven I, I did a portrait of our cat sat on a uh, patchwork quilt and I won an art competition like the lo a local art competition and um, from that point onwards, I was like, you know, kind of, this is what I want to do for a job. And obviously, you know, everyone discouraged me <laughs> because it isn't the easiest way to sort of make a living. And, you know, I did end up going into teaching, but I, that was brilliant because I was still using my art degree and like all like my art skills on a daily basis, obviously teaching um, GCSE. Um, but it's really nice now to be actually doing my own creative stuff and pursuing that as a as a job. But it's not an easy way to make a living. But I think if you're determined, you know, there's so many different things you can do with it rather than you don't have to actually have to be an artist. You know, there's so many different ways you can apply sort of creativity in different jobs and different um, different settings, really. And sort of like you mentioned just then, but you you you. Teach um GCSE art, so GCSE art was quite challenging because a challenging teaching a lot of um teenagers and yeah yeah it, it was challenging it was challenging and hats off to people to teachers it's it is a really it can be a really tough job also rewarding. But um, I mean, I, I taught for 10 years. I um, so had a couple of maternity breaks in there, but yeah, pretty much 10 years. And um, what kept me going was like teaching the subject I love, but also seeing the difference it could make to a lot of pupils. So there'd be some children who'd be quite disengaged in like around the rest of school and like wouldn't turn up to most of the lessons and stuff who in art, you could really see them expressing themselves and finding their, creative path and that was really that was really special you know but I'm not going to lie it was also really hard <laughs> so yeah um hats off to to people in schools because it is it's a very difficult job you know and very a lot of work a lot of um a lot of stress and a lot of marking a lot of data number crunching but um yeah it's um yeah all good you know <laughs> Oh, well, well, thank you, Kate. It's been really a good to talk to you today. And thank you for taking the time out of your out of your day to come and chat with me. Oh, you're very welcome. Really nice to chat to you. Okay, and if and if you know of anyone, one else who would like to come on and have a chat with me, just let me know. I will. Yes, I've got a few people in mind. <laughs> Thank you.
Yay! Good stuff. See ya. <laughs>